Cushman's, and on your side is your local election headquarters. Election day is just one week away. Candidates are giving it one last push to make their platforms known and encourage their supporters to get out and vote. Oh, we've been monitoring the tense second congressional district race between incumbent Congressman Scott Taylor and Democratic challenger Elaine Luria. Today, 10 on your side's Andy Fox was at their final debate. Andy? Tom and Anita, they disagreed on almost everything, but there was some common ground. This is all playing out in a very competitive congressional race one week before Election Day led to the massacre we had in Pittsburgh. Congressman Scott Taylor. I think the rhetoric is dangerous in this country. And I, and I do think that there is rhetoric from the top that's dangerous. I do think that there's rhetoric from other leaders, not just at the executive branch, but in the congressional. I mean, I see it all the time. I think this rhetoric is coming from the top, and I think that it's unacceptable. And it's permeating through our communities and things that are completely unacceptable. Elaine Luria blasted the Trump administration stand on new tariffs, using her own small business as an example. I have three main components that go into the product I manufacture, and one of those is steel. So my supplier already sent me a letter saying that we're going to pass on those cost of tariffs to you. Taylor spoke about how he fast-tracked the Ashanti Billy alert bill through the House of Representatives. A year to the day that that family came into my office asking for help, we passed the Ashanti Alert Act through the House of Representatives, and hopefully it'll get to the president sooner than later so that we can save lives. They both got in digs on each other. Luria asking Taylor whether he's voting for controversial Republican U.S. Senate candidate Corey Stewart. And I'm still waiting for an answer from Congressman Taylor because the top of his ticket is a choice between Corey Stewart and Tim Kaine. So I, I'm curious how much he supports his party. And Taylor hit Luria on whether she will support Nancy Pelosi for House Speaker since Pelosi has heavily funded Luria's campaign. I don't think you can say who you can vote for if you don't know who the choices are. I'm a no on Nancy Pelosi. And you can see back and forth, back and forth, and it's playing out in the television commercials that they have on millions being spent on this. Coming up tonight on Wavy News 10 at 6, the issue of minimum wage came up. How much is Elaine Luria paying all of her workers who work for? That became an issue in this debate. I'll have that part of the story on Wavy News 10 at 6. In Virginia Beach, Andy Fox, 10 on your side.